Two days ago, while I was in Paris, I got a call from my team at 2 a.m. that one of my students from Sao Tome, an African country, was coming to Senegal and got held at the airport. I made phone calls. I've done everything that I could. My team tried before they got to me, and they still deported him back to his country. Why? Because they said that he needed a visa before he left Sao Tome to come to Senegal. It is very unfortunate because as Africans between countries, let me be clear, Sao Tome is in Africa, Senegal is in Africa, we're deporting our own children to go back to their home when they come to our own home. How do we expect other countries to respect us, to give us also access to their countries? A week prior, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when I was launching my political movement in Senegal, I received my other young people, friends and etc., coming from the United States, some coming from France. Because of they have a U.S. passport or they have a French passport, they didn't ask them no questions, no visa to be asked. They entered Senegal with no problems. But we cannot allow access in our own countries our own young people to have access in our own countries. The way we as Africans deal with it, each other is unacceptable. And we need to, as leaders, think of a way that we tear the walls of division in between us. Because if we don't accept each other, if we don't love each other, if we don't open up for each other, if we don't do business for each other, how do we expect other people to respect us or take us as partners that are serious? I still have a problem to understand that you can give access, non-visa needed for any European country to come to Senegal, but any other African countries, most of them you come in, if they don't have a visa, you deport them. And this is not only for Senegal, but all over Africa. This is one of the serious problems that we have and that needs to be fixed. And there is multiple ways to fix that. If you look at other sub-regions or regions around the world, like the European Union, or the United Emirates Arabs, they all working together. Uh, they allowed each other to travel without asking for visas. And this makes them stronger. Makes them, um, this, this is their force, this because they have the unity. And we as Africans need to figure out the way to create that space for our continent. As president of Senegal, if elected, I will work and take the lead to make sure that we create an Africa that can do trade together, that can be strong in, in unity, that we can allow our children to travel, make travel easy for each other, and also to understand that our destiny in the continent is intertwined, but only if we are united.